What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are on our way to our very last Wisconsin area challenge for quite some time. We are heading to a place called Crawdaddy's on Greenfield in West Dallas, Wisconsin where we are each going to be taking on a five foot po' boy challenge. Now it has been a long time since I've eaten five feet of anything. No pun intended. Don't make fun of me. But the last time I ate five foot of anything was when I did five feet of Subway. Randy's giggling. Uh, are you gonna make a comment about your size? No, I'm not. <laughs> but anyways, we are really excited to do this. We will, of course, catch you guys at Crawdaddy's when the po' boy arrives. <laughs> So the massive five foot po' boy has obviously arrived here in front of me at Crawdaddy's on Greenfield. This thing is crazy. I am literally about to eat my height in uh, po' boy here, but I am super jazzed because my heart still is a little bit in Louisiana. If you guys don't know, I lived there for like three or four years and uh, I haven't had any good Cajun food since I lived in Louisiana. So I'm pretty pumped for that. There is like gator here. We've got catfish of all sorts, blackened. We've got shrimp. I'll of course go into more details in the voiceover, but for now what you need to know is I have have one hour to finish five feet of flipping po' boy here in order to be victorious. If I win, I get the $50 sandwich for free, which I think is a great deal. I get a groovy hoodie to add to my collection, and I do get my name and photo up on the wall of fame. So, as always, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. Yeah. Woo! Oh. I am so nervous. Actually, I'm gonna add, can I add tartar to it? Normally I say let's just uh, shut up and go for it, but I have a big old thing of tartare, which I'm going to sprinkle along this sandwich, which I think is so big, it doesn't fit in the frame all the way. Ooh. This ought to do it for now, and I also have avocado crema on the side. Anyway, this was an unusually long intro for me, so without further delay, one, two, three. All right. All right. Starting with the blackened catfish. Beat Randy. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, not good. Messe le bon temps roule. <laughs> what is up, Kilo Crew, and welcome to some Cajun fun. I have a good day in the office. Let's be honest, it is always a great day in the office when I am eating, especially when I get to tuck in to a bunch of delicious catfish and gator. It has been way too long since I feasted on some Southern Delights. I'm wearing it, that means it's good. Like any good po' boy, this thing was slathered in a bunch of mayo, and then of course, as you saw, I added more tartare to the whole mixture, so it was definitely saucy. First foot down. Yeah. Just four feet to go. All right, let's go with gator next. I feel yeah. like this is gonna get chewy if I let it sit, so let's bring it into frame. It has been a hot minute since I had some gator. I am so jazzed. Oh. Oh yeah, fond memories. Fried gator tail has a special place in my heart and is one of the things that I miss the most about living in Louisiana. It is so good. I'm gonna dip some of these gator bites in this avocado crema, just to make the sandwich a little smaller. Ooh, that's a winner, oh yeah. They definitely didn't skimp on the proteins, but yeah, the avocado crema complemented the gator nicely. Gator is so good. If you're afraid of trying gator, don't be. It is everything that there is to love about chicken and fish. So very true. A lot of people shy away from exotic meats and you're missing out. Now it's full sandwich time. Yeah, <laughs> wow, look at even just one foot of this thing looks huge and absolutely intimidating. So yeah, I was definitely nervous going into this challenge. They also have frog legs on the menu, which is also something to not be afraid of. Katina Eats Kilos, also a part-time food life coach, but yeah, if you're open to it, frog is an excellent protein source as well. Give it a shot. Mm -hmm. mm. At this rate, I'll be done in 18 minutes, right? I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna be done in 18 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going quick now, but uh, just wait. Strap yourselves in, this is gonna be a long video. Thank goodness for editing and upbeat music and this lovely voiceover you guys enjoy so much, right? But yeah, yeah, this was gonna be a long adventure. Huh, two feet down, three to go. Yeah. Huh, let's go with blackened scrimps next. Actually, it'll try one plane. Whoa. 
good. Whoa, these scrimps were not too scrimpy. They were huge and packed with flavor. That is awesome. I'm gonna use a little more of their house-made tartare, and then we're gonna sandwich this sucker up because that is how a po' boy is meant to be eaten. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> one person agreed with me. Oh, good crispy bread. Uh-oh, we have a blowout. Oh, don't. It's a blowout. <laughs> yeah, I could have used some less frightening imagery there. Sorry to all you fresh new parents out there, but yeah, this thing was so juicy that the bread just couldn't quite hold its own against the flavor. Half an hour. Oh, three feet down, two to go. Hoy. Mm. We're gonna do pre-wiggle. I don't need the wiggle, but we're pre-wiggle. <laughs> yeah, truffle shuffle. Hey, you guys. <laughs> I think next up I'm gonna go with the fried catfish. That sounds like a really good idea. I'm probably gonna peel a little bit off though, so let's try it. Ooh, very good. This was excellently prepared catfish because as you guys know, catfish can get a little muddy tasting sometimes, but this was delightful. We are three foot deep into this and I am feeling it. My tum tum be full full. Uh oh, being full that early doesn't bode too well. <laughs> I could use a couple good burps, that would be helpful. <clears throat> oh, there we go, there sorry. Go. Oh, Woo! I am so sorry. She's not a robot. Whew. Okay, I'm happy now. Ready? Time to eat. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I am reborn. Yeah. Mm. I am a sophisticated and classy lady, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. When people hand me babies, this is kind of how I hold them, so don't hand me babies ever. <laughs> it's like, what is this? It's about the same size as a baby, right? Why that thought popped into my head, I have no idea. I think it was because I had to cradle this sandwich like it was a like soft, fragile newborn baby or something. It was so large and hard to uh, handle and manipulate, but yeah. Uh, this was uh, definitely the point where I started to get really full and uh, the brakes went on a bit. Hungry Katina would be so excited right now. <laughs> Current Katina is still excited but hurting. The bread on this challenge was not forgiving or easy to get through by any means. Delicious, yes, but difficult to get through for sure. We're gonna get down to business to defeat the Huns a little oh, bit early. Yeah! yeah. You got it, Katina! Ah, thank you. You know, business is about to happen when the chair exits the frame. I could use some knee pads right now. That's all right. That's what she said. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Sophisticated, classy, and the uh, maturity of a 12-year-old boy. What more could you ask for? This catfish is just like I cook it out in my swamp. I was beginning to feel and look a lot like Shrek at this point, so I was channeling my swamp vibes. <sighs> <laughs> for all of you creeps that ask for show belly one stuff, you're welcome. <laughs> Freaking weird people out there, man. No offense. All right. <laughs> I swear that shirt fit me perfectly before I started eating, but I, I got pretty full here. Four feet down, one to go. Oddly, as full as I was feeling at this point, this is actually where my confidence started to skyrocket. I could use a juice box and a nap right now. There's a couch back there. Don't tell me that. <laughs> All right, one point to go. Easy peasy. You got it! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I heard what this challenge was, I was confident because I've done five feet of subway before, but this ain't no subway sandwich. <laughs> no. I'm gonna enjoy the last piece in comfort. I'm signing that freaking bear. You are signing that freaking bear. Signing You're that freaking bear. bear. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we had some friends there that I always sign a Randy Santel Leonidas bear when I win and they come to an event, so I was gonna sign that thing. A lot of bread. Mm -mm -mm. If I keep wiggling, I'm fine. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Ah. At this point, I was sort of just pacing myself, letting the air and the bubbles from the bread slowly work their way out. Obviously, I was full as well, but the slowness was somewhat strategic. Okay. Oh. Come on. oh. You got it, Katina. Mm. Obviously, having great crowd support there helps a ton, really keeps me motivated, especially when I'm feeling a little under the weather. Last Randy's big scars, last by six inches. Ew. <laughs> 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 And with that final immature double entendre, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you for watching, and do brace yourselves for a camera change as mine overheated. Almost there, let's go. 
final bites, let's get these down. Here we go. You got it, Katina. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. Make sure you pour proud. <laughs> <laughs> Final bite, they're gone. There it is. was my final time to finish the five foot po' boy. I am hurting, so big thank you to Crawdaddies on Greenfield. For winning, I do get the $50 meal for free, a groovy hoodie, and a spot up on the wall of fame. Thank you guys so much for watching. <clears throat> wow. Okay, peace out, bye. <laughs> <laughs>